Thanks for tuning in guys, this is Grayson from Wood Dynamic Fitness. It's about uh, 8 o'clock in the morning right now. Um, the video that we're doing today is it's going to be a little, little different than what we're used to doing. There's not going to be any training footage, it's not going to be a vlog. Um, basically what it's going to be is I've just been lately seeing a lot of people complain that eating clean or eating healthy um, or bodybuilding diet or fitness diet or this and that is just too expensive, too tedious you know, et cetera, et cetera. But this is just to show that it can be done on a, on a budget. Um, right now, today, everything I consume is going to be less than $14. Now, my receipt from Walmart when I picked up my chicken and my eggs for the day and me about $10.32. The carbs I eat today are mostly going to come from rice um, as well as maybe a cup of oatmeal. Those, if you've packed those in, that wouldn't even add another five bucks because I know you can get a five pound bag of rice for four dollars at, at even Giant and they're normally more expensive. I'm going to show you guys what can be done on a budget, okay? I know a lot of you people complain and think it's going to cost $200 a week to eat groceries. Um, it won't. It won't. It won't. It won't at all. Today it's going to be about five to six meals uh, and about probably a shake as well after the workout. Um, and this is all going to be low budget foods, okay? Um, this is going to be a high carb, high protein, high fat diet. Me personally, if this was my regular day to day diet, um, I would take one of the chicken meals out. I normally have about three chicken meals. I have one beef meal and probably two egg white meals. Today what we're doing is I can show you what we're having for breakfast here. And this is my pre-training meal. We got six whole eggs cooking up. All right. We're gonna have these other six eggs later this evening. Um, for our carb this morning, we're most likely gonna roll with oatmeal. Okay, I'm probably gonna have a half cup of oatmeal for. Uh, probably gonna have a half cup of oatmeal for the, our carb this morning. Um, our next meal after this, our post workout shake, it's going to be a half cup of quick oats and it's going to be two scoops of cookies and cream whey tech 24. Our post workout meal then an hour later is probably going to be uh, about six to seven ounces of chicken um, with a cup of rice. Now when you do eat a, on a clean diet, on a budget, it does get a little redundant. Um, and you are going to be eating the same foods multiple times a day, which I know can get old and whatever, you know, yada yada yada. You have to complain all day about it, but no one's forcing you to do it. If you want it bad enough, you're going to do what it takes. So stay tuned, and we'll catch you guys at the next meal. All right, so we just got done at the gym. I trained some arms today. Did a little bit of cardio. Did 10 minutes on the uh, on the step mill. Um, afterwards, I drank my 50 grams of whey and uh, 39 grams of oats. Uh, equaling about 26 grams of carbs in that shake. Um, it's an hour later now. Right now it's almost 2 o'clock. Okay. I'll show you guys what I'm eating now. I got some of my meals ready for the day. Alright. This is what I'm having right now. It's just 6 ounces of chicken breast. I have another 6 ounces. And I have another 4 ounces. Okay. My rice just finished cooking. So we got about three cups of rice in there. We're going to be distributed evenly among these meals. So we're going to have a cup of rice with our four ounces of chicken, a cup of rice with our six ounces, a cup of rice with another six ounces of chicken I'm eating right now. Um, now with the meal that's the four ounces of chicken, what I'm going to do for that, because obviously it's low protein, um, I'm probably going to cook up another egg or so to throw in with that to up the count, or I might throw in just like a half scoop of whey. Alright guys, so right now we're on our third meal of the day. So far we've had six whole eggs for breakfast with a half cup of oatmeal. We went to, we went to train. Um, we had our oats and whey after we trained. An hour later we had six ounces of chicken with a cup of oatmeal. Um, and now I'm at work and we have six ounces of chicken again with a cup of uh, parboiled white rice. I'll show you guys right here what I'm eating. Alright, so it's six ounces of chicken like I said with a cup of white rice. And then I have the same meal again. Um, I'll probably have that in about two and a half hours. Um, after that, I'm going to go train some hamstrings, so I'll keep you guys tuned in for what we're uh, having next. Alright, so we're back in the break room right now. I got my, uh, let's see how many, well, how many meals have we got so far? One, two, three, shake. Fourth meal, so we, this will be our fourth meal. Um, we had one shake today. Um, this is going to be my pre-training meal for hamstrings. I'm going to head out um, back to Strictly Fitness uh, after I get off work here. 
And uh, I'm going to head out and train hamstrings. Like I said, I do quads on one day, hamstrings on another. I trained arms this morning, going back for hamstrings soon. Um, after that, I'm probably going to have another shake. Um, and then I'll have one more meal before bed. So that'll throw us at two shakes, five meals for all less than $15 in a day. So you can't complain about that whatsoever. Um, the meal that I'm having right now, which is the exact same thing I had um, about two and a half hours ago, it's going to be some chicken. It's going to be six ounces of chicken. It's all under that bed of rice. Um, a cup of white rice with a, a serving or two servings of ketchup on top of that. Um, the only reason I'm having the ketchup there, it's not for any anabolic purpose whatsoever. Um, the only reason I have it there is because I'm tired of eating dry chicken. This is like my third meal of dry chicken for the day. Um, so I'm going to throw a little ketchup on it and spice it up. So uh, I'll catch you guys after we're finished training at the last meal of the day. And uh, see you guys then. All right, guys, so we're at the last meal of the day. This is meal number five. As far as this diet that I did show you today, do I recommend this on a day-to-day -day basis? If you can afford to eat better than that, no. I think it's, um, for anyone who's a beginner who's just trying to get, get the basics of bodybuilding down, I think this is a great diet to take on to start. The reason I say that is because it's a lot of calories. It's a lot of fat, It's a lot, and it's a lot of good fats. It's not a lot of bad fats, okay? It's a lot of good fats. It's a lot of carbs, it's a lot of protein, it's a lot of calories overall. But if you're eating, you know, let's put this in comparison to if you're eating McDonald's for five meals a day, you're going to spend way more than this. It didn't even run me 11 bucks. It was $10.32. So as, if you're on a diet, you can absolutely make it happen for less than 15 bucks a day. No doubt about it. Now I have my carbs laying around just because I had them on hand already. But let's say I bought those separately. They're not going to run me more than about two to three bucks if I'm buying them for the servings that I had. Now, like I said, this is not what I would do for myself every single day. But this actually just worked out perfectly because I was in a pinch my day before uh, payday. I had 15 bucks in my wallet and I was like, what to do? Well, you know what, it's something I was actually doing in real life, not just as an experiment for a video, and I figure why not film it so I can give you guys um, a good idea for yourself in case you ever do get in a pinch, or if you're thinking about bodybuilding, or trying to become a bodybuilder, or just want to follow a bodybuilding diet to put on some muscle, and you just don't know where to begin. It's a good baseline, and then wherever you choose to go from there, just it all depends on how your body reacts to it, of how you can adjust what you are eating. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, feel free to give it a thumbs up if it was helpful to you. Feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below if you have any questions for me or if you have any suggestions on what you'd like to see in the future. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, Wood Dynamic Fitness, so that you can stay up to date with all the videos that I do release, whether it be training, bodybuilding on a budget. Um, you know, we cover a lot of bases here, and there's going to be more to come. Obviously, the channel is relatively new, so I don't have everything up that I want to have up yet, but there's going to be a lot more content to come. We're having a lot of fun with this, and I hope you guys are too. So just remember, guys, the three S's, a little sweat and a little sacrifice equals big success. Take it easy.